Hey everybody, thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, I get asked this all the time, so here's a video I've not, not, never addressed, so I figured I would talk to you guys about this. And it happened last weekend uh, when I was up at RCX2. I was talking to some, some people that recognize me from my uh, YouTube channel, and I get asked this all the time. What is the best quad to start learning how to fly quads? Is it a 350 size? Is it a 450 size? This is a, a dual sky hornet. Is it, is it this the size to buy? These are big, they carry cameras. Is it my big jumbo flagship here? My bumblebee, is this the one I should buy? <clears throat> with a brushless gimbal so I can shoot aerial video is it a is it a DJI 450 size like this so I get asked all the time Robert what would you buy or what would you what would you do if you want to learn how to fly quads what is the best quad to learn well, let me show you this might surprise you uh, none of these what I would recommend you buy if you want to learn how to fly quads, turn my radio here. Fire this up for a little faster. You wanted to know? Here's what I recommend. Go out and buy yourself one of these little micro quads. This is an older this is my old MQX. This has honestly been a lifesaver for me. This is the best investment I ever made. And let me explain why in a couple reasons. Um, when you're learning how to fly quads, quads are not planes, they're not cars. You need to learn some basics. And what I mean by basics is you need to learn uh, what forward and backwards is. You need to learn how to turn to the right. You need to learn how to turn to the left. You need to be able to learn how to hover um, tail in, nose in, and these are a great tool. Um, you can you can use sims and you can uh, learn that way but what I really recommend because you can fly these indoors these are great for training your thumbs and training your brain and learning how to fly a quad so when you do get that big quad like one of these guys here because I know everybody wants to buy the bigger ones and stick GoPros on them and do things like that but when you get one of these little guys because you're going to need a radio too. This is my DX7. These are great little quadcopters. You can fly them indoors. You see here. You can learn the basics. Right in front of you here. How to fly quads. And what learning to fly quads is really all about is muscle memory. Learning how to fly away from you, back to you, hover. It's all about the basics. And once you get the basics down, as I said before, once you get the basics down and you can do this indoors, flying one of these other ones is so much simpler. So my recommendation again, guys, is when you're learning how and you want to get into quads, and I know everybody wants to do like the DJIs and all these crazy quadcopters that have hookups for brushless gimbals and GoPros and you want to fly over people and do crazy stuff before you do that trust me it's going to be well worth the effort get yourself a good computer radio uh, this is my Spectrum DX7 get yourself a little uh, MQX little quadcopters like this to teach yourself how to fly indoors uh, this will save yourself so much money by learning how to fly with these little micro quads you can crash them, tear them up pretty bad. They take a licking and they keep coming back. So this would be my recommendation. Um, there's a lot of other little quads out there. Make sure, make sure you, you get yourself a good radio. When you buy the little micro helicopters these days, you get everything in the box. You get a charger, you get the quads, you get the battery, you get everything. So this is the best way to learn. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions or clips, or if you have any suggestions about this video, if there's maybe a little quad that you prefer, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, hope this video has helped. Let's get out and do some flying.
Ooh, I just did a circle. Ooh. 